it's now a little late, three days to get from Norfolk to New York City. I have been looking forward to this day for years. definitely get there before sunset. Yeah. After the past three days and rough stuff, it sure is a welcome sight to see the buildings of Atlantic City. We had hoped to get all the way to New York City, but we're just beat and the boat's in desperate need of getting into a marina slip, getting access to a fresh water hose and rinsing her off. And we we'll all use a really good night's sleep after what we've been through for the past few days. Ten miles away, five knots, so we'll be there in a few to three hours. Alright. So you drink, you have uh, foul weather gear and boots on and everything. It's a nice sunny day. Did <laughs> I mean, you dress wrong or what? Farley State Marina, Farley State Marina, Farley State Marina, sailing vessel Paragon, Paragon 16, over. Hello! Try again in another five miles. All through the night, the, on Wednesday night, I'm like, okay, we're gonna be in Cape May in 12 hours. All right, we're gonna be there in 10 hours. All right, we're gonna, and then Drake comes in and he's like, we've actually been home too all night. We're not gonna be there at all. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you gonna sleep through the night, Drake? They made it. Yeah, I'll sleep really good tonight. So first thing I wanna do is take the hose to the exterior, yeah. get the salt off. Huh? Maybe you can get the laundry together and find the laundromat at the marina so we can get the stuff washed tonight and then we can't really wash and dry aboard. A lot of stuff is soaked with salt water. Oh, uh, that patch in the back. Yeah. Not just leaks, like, like a steady stream. Like there were drips in all four corners, but that one, every once in a while, it was just like, so it must be so great for you to be out of your bunk for the first time since, uh, since God. When's that? Wednesday. It's Wednesday. What is today? Saturday. Two whole days in your bunk. Wow. So you must be awfully well rested. You've been well rested. You spent two days in bed. Uh, uh, <laughs> I wasn't quite the rest of the day. No, I actually didn't sleep a ton. I just wasn't feeling well. Yeah. I was feeling really nauseous. And part of that lovely restful time was throwing up in my Ziploc bag. I had to go to the bathroom so bad. I'm just like, okay, psyching myself up for like two hours to go to the bathroom. I'm like running as fast as I can. I'm like, ah! We'll stay in the marina for at least tonight. I don't know, maybe two, but... Dancing, maybe. 
there's also an anchorage right there and we can get the dinghy ashore. So we might just do a day in the marina and then the next day at anchor. I think it'd be a good place to wait for a weather window. That should be an especially easy weather window since it's like a day. Yeah. A day, a day and a half. No 30 knot winds. I woke up earlier today and I opened my eyes and I was just like, I feel good. And then I like kind of sat up and I'm like, I don't feel terrible. And I started like, I still feel good. And then I handed you a plate of food and you were like, I'm hungry. <laughs> Well, we did it. It's been a hell of a trip. We've just lowered the main, and now we've got about two miles to the marina. We're going to Farley State Marina in Atlantic City just for a night. It costs $2 per foot per day, so Paragon's 42 feet. We're looking at 84 bucks just to tie up for one night. I think we deserve it after the hell that we've been through for the past three days. There it is. We are going to port. And I am going to bed. Maybe have a drink or two and play some slot machines just because we're here. Woohoo! We're here! We made it! Yeah! You can't play some. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> I'm like making port. Look at all the salt on that strata glass. The whole boat is completely covered with salt. As are we. I guess that means we're salty, eh? <laughs> I don't know if I'm covered in salt too much. <laughs> but tonight it's marina slip and fresh water hose to get all the salt off of the exterior of the boat. We'll also have access to washing machines and dryers to wash some heavily salt water soaked clothes. And then it's time for a drink <laughs> to celebrate our safe arrival in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Sorry we didn't get you to New York City in time for your plane. Oh no, it's fine. I really it looks wanted like to I think do there's that. a two hour uh, Bus trip? Two hour bus trip? Yeah. From Atlantic City? From the you? casino. No way. From the casino. <laughs> at Ross! So, yeah, that's easy. not bad at all. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna think that's probably the easiest route. And uh, yeah. we'll be done with it. So we sure got uh, this far though. I mean, <laughs> did good. Well, you've been the best crew imaginable. Invaluable. Thank you very much. You're always welcome aboard Paragon. I think the watches end up working out pretty good. Yeah. You know, I was exhausted and I would I was able just to crash. I figured and he says, okay, yeah. I got this, I'm like, that's my cue. Go to bed. I blinked up and I would just be I got literally like a hundred percent and yeah. have to back on if you good to go for the rest of the time. That green can was put there after this chart was made. It's not on the chart. Atlantic City! Yes. <laughs>
and welcoming party here. A win, and so I gotta come in and go in there and then down there and in. So a starboard, a starboard. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Farley State Marina, but when you get here, it's otherwise known as the Golden Nugget Motel, Casino, and Marina. Or the story of how I lost my boat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe we'll try to get an innermost dock so we're not near all the seagulls. I hate docking. No one likes it. Get like a bow line on there as soon as you can. Jeez. <laughs> no, I'm glad we didn't do a port side tie because then we be, just would have lowered the then the wind would be crushing us up against the dock. This is kind of like the most isolated spaceport, isn't it? It is. It really is. The characters you'll meet in this place, man. <laughs> <sighs> Oh god, we made it. Okay, so. Oh. <laughs> we made it. Take the trash out. I thought that was gonna happen. <laughs> I was a little concerned when it started snowing and the winds were gusting over 30. So you know I made I made these companion way steps. No. <laughs> Did you? I made a styrofoam mock-up of the whole thing. But I started out first with getting the trash can and put the trash can there and then I designed the steps around it. You're amazing. I like designing things out of styrofoam. Building that. them out of wood. It all started right there. And speakers no less. Yeah, yeah, that was an afterthought. <laughs> you design those out of styrofoam? <laughs> I got my wallet, I got my trash, right. I'm ready to go to the golden nugget. Yeah. <sighs> it's pretty deserted, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out the golden nugget. <laughs> wow. Shrink wrap bubble. I tied it weird. Yeah. I gotta learn my uh, garbage bag tying knots better. I feel yeah. very comfortable with these insecurity measures of this. No one can do <laughs> <laughs> We are safe. It's okay. Behind our little four foot gate. Okay. All right, we're here. <laughs> I don't know where we're going, by the way. Teamwork. Showers, laundry. I'm sure they have internet. <laughs> At 84 bucks a day. Why don't we go in there? There are revolving doors. Or right here. Good job on tying up, guys. I could have done a much better job at parking it, but you guys saved me. <laughs> hmm. What is this place? Marina office around the corner on the left. Around the corner? What corner? On the left. Inside, outside. Around this. Uh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Let's split up. This is where it's it was. Like the beginning of every one. Of 
Oh! We lost her. Shrink wrap the table for the winter, or whatever it is. Yeah! Here you can see that we actually did take some damage. The 75 pound Rockna anchor dislodged a little bit and was banging on the bow. Right there you can see where it gouged fiberglass out of the bow. Drake, real bad news. No, 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 really? No water? That's just great. <laughs> oh well. So main, the main reason you wanted to pull in. Pull in here, yeah, yeah, was so that I could wash the boat down and take on some water. Yeah, fuck. Great. Here comes Mo. Did you talk to anybody about us checking in and paying for nope. the slip? Nope. Nope, I was just on a shower mission. Yeah. There's no water on the dock, unfortunately. Really? Yeah. Well, damn. Well, let's go take showers. Yeah. Man, and uh, and then uh, have a celebratory drink. Yeah. That sounds in order, eh? That's really good. I think I need a gin tonic or two, three. <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> I'm gonna need a combo. <laughs> we can make margaritas on the boat. We have enough salt. So I guess no rinsing the boat off, eh? Oh, what happened to the ladder? What do you mean? The bag is ripped. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, well. Small potatoes. It's all, hey, you know, it's all small potatoes. <laughs> it's important as you help. All right. I have a question. What's your question? So, you're up there, out there, on the water. You're doing your thing. Someone's on watch. They're looking around every 10 minutes. Then a storm hits and you're hove too. Yeah. And the phone rings? And the phone rings. And you're like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a reason why we do lookouts less frequently when we're hove to? Why? Well, probably because so when less? we're hove to, we're just so beat up. And, so uh, we're more willing to be hit. At well, that point, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. It all depends on where you are. and You know, we had radar going out like 30 miles. And we had the AIS alarm, but most weren't running at AIS. And many weren't, yeah. Yeah, we saw that. There are many boats without AIS. I'd probably say, of the contacts I saw, two-thirds did not run AIS. Did not. And that's yeah. even the big guys. Even the big guys. Yeah, and that's why I was surprised. You know, I'm like, oh, maybe it's a fishing boat or something. Mm -hmm. And, uh, no, the fishing boat had the AIS, the, the wow. giant freighters. Didn't. Um, they didn't. Wow. So they probably picked us up on their radar. At one point, close to the shipping lane, I saw that there were three boats in formation headed right for me, and I actually did deviate 45 degrees and increase speed with the engine to get out of their way. The one that was closest to me actually deviated his course. I could see it all on AIS. And then there was that other boat. You were like, hey, there's a boat here. He's like a mile away. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe one or call him. And I, I called him and he responded, but not in English. Yeah. And I had no idea what he was saying. We can't turn. Oh my God. Yeah, we weren't, we were not maneuverable at that time. Yeah. Uh, no, we just really weren't. The winds, we, we couldn't do anything. And, but uh, the contacting them, um, you recognize that, you know, okay, there's something there. Yep. So that's all we really needed. The entire boat is covered with salt. We are covered with salt. The engine was covered with salt from water leaking in through the steering wheel pedestal. Which concerns me because all the linkage in there is also covered in salt. I have to pop that off, get a look inside. 
maybe shoot a lot of WD-40 in there. We are showered and we are in the land of casinos. Fried food. Fried Boys. food, burger, Boys. gin and tonic. <laughs> And now I will say bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> the Golden Nugget Hotel Casino Marina. This is Casino Park. We're not on Paragon anymore. We're not on Paragon anymore. We're not in Oriental anymore. And we're not Hove 2 and 30 Knot Wind anymore. <laughs> when it came to like, okay, I'm awake, you should sleep, or, or okay, I'll sleep because you're rested. And, I, still, uh, I think if you take on crew, yeah. you know, what is the crew's responsibility? Well, it's when you're not on watch is to sleep. Yes, absolutely. So that when you come back up, you know, you're, you're 100%, and then, you know, other people can rest. So I try to do that. We were hoped to, and the alarm would go off, and we'd both bolt out of bed. <laughs> in the boat. The storm will come and go, the boat will be just as good as it was before, but you know, how frayed will our nerves get when it gets rough. I hope you come sail on Paragon again soon. I hope so. I really do. So what's your plan when you get back? I gotta get my boat ready to yep. bring up New York City. So I have a three-year residency in New York City. Wow! So the whole family, we're all moving there. We've been getting my uh, my oldest daughter set in school. Our plan in the next year is just to cruise the Long Island Sound. Yeah. Um, 
know, take trips out to Block Island yep. uh, for summer vacation. Are you going to make videos and put them on your YouTube channel? I'm thinking about it, you know, kind of expired. I've made a couple, and you know, I made one just really just to, you know, send the family and stuff. And I just, it's time yeah, for it's so much time. My, my eldest daughter was looking at my video from Okerbrook, and she's like, oh, damn, we got to do that again. You know, when it's, we're just hanging out on the boat. Yeah. It's really just family time. You're, there's not many distractions. I mean, we have like an iPad, so they can watch cartoons. And you know, when we're underway, when we're there, we're all just kind of hanging out together. I knew we were onto something good when uh, six months after my daughter's like, hey dad, for my birthday, can we just go back to Poker Club wow. and spend like, not just a few days, but can we spend a week there? For and her birthday! Was, for her birthday. So for a, a six year old to tell you that that's what they want for their birthday, um, that was pretty fun. How old um, was she when she. Four or five, wow. I think, when we did the, uh, that tri early trip. When she was two, we'd go on the little trailer sailor, you know, and yep. I'd have it, I'd back up the car, you know, and I'd launch this little 22 foot hunter on the lake, and her and I would get like hot chocolates from McDonald's on the way, and we'd sit out there. And I remember one time, it was like freezing. So we get out there, and we're out there for probably like 30 minutes. It's like, <laughs> it's cold. I'm like, yeah, you're right. You wanna go back? Let's go back. <laughs> Do you think our sale from Oriental to Atlantic City has prepared you for when you're gonna take your boat up to New York? It immeasurably so. You really I mean, think yeah. so? Oh yeah. I mean, I'm so ignorant on so many things, but I don't have a doubt that we'll be able to do it. And it's, it's just brought light several things that uh, that I need to pay attention to. Several modifications I need to make. I think we were, we were really tired yesterday. Yeah. We were really tired yesterday, but uh, I think it was hard to see the, the awesomeness uh, of the trip, really. And I think it was great. I think it was perfect. Yeah. Uh, it was just perfect to, to start it out, and you know there's going to be rough seas ahead. But, and I think, you know, Mo knows that, you know, she's going to come out of it and be just fine. Yes. <laughs> and, and then that's, there's so much value in that, just start out that way, just start out and know that, you know, it, it's going to be bumpy, you're going to be just fine. I mean, it wasn't a plan to, to test it. That are early. Yeah. That are. And, uh, I blame myself entirely. <laughs> Next time I'll be more specific with my wishes. <laughs> you so you, you like, actually did. I hope like, I get some wins, I get tested with my I believe the exact, the exact words were, I can't wait oh, um, until I'm in that big storm and hove to, and then I can tell Drake, and he can't use that line anymore, you've never been in a storm. Um, I believe that was the first yeah, sight, and I, I thought about asking you when, uh, when we so were hove to for two days, and uh, <laughs> so how's it going? <laughs> All right. Safe travels. Yeah, yeah. You're awesome. Yeah, Have a great trip. Good. Yeah. I will go across the field to where the wind had ceased to blow that day when sorrow filled the air and all the blackbirds scattered everywhere and you had gone as far as you would go in my reflection you were staring back at me my eyes are mirrors of the dreams you used to see but now I'm fumbling in the dark to where the memories are far apart And there I lost the forest for the trees In the gloaming of the day The words
words are darkening away Take another look There's no more pages in this book The epilogue was written in the dirt The story's at an end It's time to put away my pen And join you by the earth That is probably one of the most picturesque things I've seen since we've gotten here. Poverty and depressed. We're heading to an anchorage. These broken docks have to do with Sandy. You see the current going past the buoy. How can the chain be stuck in the water? This isn't really an anchorage, but I've discovered the windlass is not working. We follow those white wires. That solenoid is for sending the current through the big cable. I'm up on anchor watch, wishing we hadn't left that marina. Let there be power! Thank you.